Hi, this is Marty from Photoshop Art House. I'm going to show you the quickest, most effective way to take old damaged photos that are scratched, creased, stained, and even missing entire sections and fully restore and colorize them. For your convenience, we'll use this damaged photo that you could use for this project. Its link is in my video's description or project files. Feel free to use another photo if you like. We'll use Nano Banana because it does the best job in keeping all the faces consistent with the original. First, press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire image. If you don't see the contextual taskbar, go to Window and at the bottom, click Contextual Taskbar. In the Prompt field, type in Restore Photo and Colorize. Remove Scratches, Tears, Creases, Stains, and Dust. Click the icon here to open our list of models. We'll use Nano Banana for this project and click Generate or press Enter or Return. It generally takes about, oh, 10 or 15 seconds to process. We chose Nano Banana due to its great character consistency. In other words, it's really good at retaining facial characteristics. I did a video comparing Nano Banana to Flux Context Pro because both of them are partner models inside Photoshop. If you'd like to watch it, I provided its link in my video's description. It did an amazing job not only removing the damage, but also restoring missing sections of the photo based on the information it had from the original image. If we'd like, we can make the colors more vibrant by pressing Ctrl or Command A to select the entire document and typing into the prompt field, Make Colors More Vibrant. Then press Enter or Return. I find that this does a better overall job than other methods. We can adjust the color saturation by clicking the adjustment layer icon and clicking Color and Vibrance. The difference between saturation and vibrance is this. Vibrance is a smarter tool that selectively intensifies muted colors while protecting skin tones and already saturated areas from oversaturation. Saturation reduces or increases the intensity of all colors equally, which can make already vibrant colors look garish, especially skin tones. I'll decrease the saturation to minus 33 to tone down all the colors. Let's change the color of the girl's dress. Make the top photo active and open your selection brush tool. We'll brush over the dress, but before we do, we can make the brush bigger or smaller by making sure our caps lock key is off and pressing the right or left bracket key on our keyboard. Loosely brush over the edge of the dress. It'll fill in when you release your mouse or pen. In the prompt, I'll type in Make Dress Green. Then I'll press Enter or Return. It shows a green color whose brightness, contrast, tone, and intensity is consistent with the rest of the photo. This is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Thanks for watching.